morning children. How are you guys doing today? Are you ready for some ring time? Great. Grab a chair and let's get started. Who can tell me what day of the week today is? Very good. Happy, happy Monday everybody. I hope that you had a fantastic weekend. I want to ask all of you a big favour. Please draw a picture of what you did this weekend, your favourite part, your mommy and daddy to send a photo to me so that I can have a look at them. Okay guys, let's get started with the work for this week. If today is Monday, tomorrow will be Tuesday and yesterday was Yes, Sunday. Very good. Can you remember your days of the week? Please do them with me. We have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Monday is also the very first day of the week. And can you still remember your months of the year? Great. Do them with me, please. We have January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. And which month are we currently in? Yes, we are in May. And May is the fifth month of the year. And which season are we currently in? Very good. We are in autumn going into winter. Can you still remember your seasons? We have summer, autumn, winter and spring. Then we go right back to summer. Before we get started with our theme for this week, do you want to quickly do our ABC song? Great, let's do it. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? Can you guys guess what our theme for this week is going to be? Our theme for this week is going to be reptiles and amphibians. Do you know what are reptiles and what is the difference between reptiles and amphibians? Let's see if one of my books can maybe help us out. Amphibians and reptiles. Like mammals and birds, amphibians and reptiles have vertebrae. They have a backbone. Amphibians include frogs, toads, newts and salamanders and live both on land and in water. The main reptile groups are turtles, snakes, lizards and crocodiles. Lightweight creatures such as frogs and lizards rarely leave tracks. But you can find tracks of the heavier reptiles such as tortoises and alligators. Ocean living turtles leave tracks in the sand when they come up to the beach to lay their eggs. Snakes may also leave tracks partially on the sand. Other signs to look for are shed skin snakes and lizards and je jelly like glasses of frogs and toads' eggs in ponds. Which animals are reptiles? Snakes, lizards, Crocodiles, turtles, all belong to the same animal group, reptiles. All reptiles have a bony skeleton and scaly skin. Most of them lay eggs which hatch, in, which hatch on land, but some reptiles give birth on their bodies. Reptiles live on land and in the sea almost everywhere on earth, but they don't like the cold. So, you won't find them around the cold. Are frogs and newt reptiles 
Frogs and newts are not reptiles. Along with toads, they are amphibians. They have no scales and their skin is very thin. So, reptiles have thick skin and scales on their body. While well, amphibians don't have thick, thick skin, they have thin skin and they don't have any scales. They lay their eggs in the water and the young hatch out as tadpoles. Baby reptiles look just like their parents, only smaller. Well, I'm very excited for this week's theme. So I'm going to show you guys a short video of the differences between reptiles and amphibians. Then we're going to go and have a look at what teacher Sally has to teach us this week. I'm super excited. Amphibians lay soft, jelly-like eggs in water. Reptiles lay leathery eggs on land. Amphibians undergo metamorphosis as they grow. Reptiles are born the same shape they will always be. Amphibians have moist, mucousy skin. Reptiles have dry, watertight scales. No neck, longer, flexible neck. Breathe through their skin, breathe through their lungs. Good morning guys, Teacher Sal here. How are you all doing? I hope you've had a wonderful weekend and that you've enjoyed spending time with your family, perhaps out in the garden, I'm not sure. I know the weather's been beautiful over the weekend. We've had lovely blue sky and pretty warm in the day. Have any of you been out exercising in the morning when you allowed to? I've been walking my dog with my children. We've been out on the street and it's been lots of fun to be out and about. So, who can tell me what day it is today? Today is Monday, that's right. And Monday is the first day of the week, the first day of our school week. So if today is Monday, tomorrow will be Tuesday. And we have just had the weekend, which is Saturday and Sunday. Let's do our days of the week. Let's clap them out. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, a new week, new things to learn. Teacher Stephanie and I are going to be teaching you this week about reptiles. Does anybody know what a reptile is? So, I've got two lovely books that's going to tell us all about what we're going to learn about. And today we're going to learn about a crocodile. Let me just show you the cover of the books and the pictures of a crocodile. And I've got another book with pictures again of crocodiles and baby crocodile hatching out of an egg. I just want to show you something. Teacher Sal made this on the weekend. I'm not sure if you can see or make out what it is. It's a picture of a crocodile. I thought it would be fun at the end of my lesson for me to show you how to make one for yourself. Just something fun and it can be like a face crocodile face mask. Right, let's talk about reptiles. So reptiles are scaly skin. Scaly means like this, like the crocodile. They have scaly skin. Uh, it's not smooth generally. And they lay their eggs on land. So they're different rept reptiles. There's crocodiles, there's alligators, turtles, tortoises, snakes and lizards. They're all types of reptiles. Unlike mammals, reptiles cannot make their own body heat. And they have to bask in the sun to get warm. So often you will see a crocodile laying on the side of the river 
just to get his body warm. When their bodies are warm, reptiles are able to move faster in search of their prey and dig for food more quickly. At night, often they rest in burrows to avoid losing too much body heat. Okay, so different types of features of we're going to do the crocodile, as I said. So just some interesting facts for you to know. That you get crocodiles and you get alligators. Now, alligators, which are these at the top. I don't know if you can see. Sorry, guys. And the bottom is the crocodile. Alligators have shorter and broader snouts. And crocodiles have extremely slender and long snouts. See, over there, there's a crocodile and there's the alligator. Do you know that a crocodile can swim up to 40 kilometers an hour? That's quite fast, using its powerful tail. So it needs its long tail to help move in the water. And they can stay underwater for two to three hours. That's a very, very long time. And talking about crocodiles, crocodiles have hardly changed in millions of years. When dinosaurs still roamed on the earth, other reptiles, they can bite. Like other reptiles, they can bite, but they can't chew. So they don't actually chew their feet. They just bite and then they swallow. Crocodiles and alligators mostly live in rivers and lakes of warm countries. These predators spend most of the time in the water, hidden beneath the surface, with just their nostrils. And eyes are visible above. So if you've seen crocodiles in the water, you can normally just see the tips of their snout and their eyes. They lie in wait for prey, such as mammals, to come and drink at the water's edge. They attack with lightning speed and close their powerful jaws around their victim, pulling them into the water. So there we go. And then just some other facts. Um, just with regards to crocodiles with babies, the little, the little crocodile, look here, here's a baby crocodile hatching out of its egg. Like all reptiles, it has a special tooth called an egg tooth, and it uses its egg tooth to cut through the tough eggshell. So there is the crocodile cutting out the eggshell. The baby crocodile makes a sound so its mommy can find it. Then it takes a ride in a very safe place. So the mommy crocodile often carries the baby in its mouth, if you can see that. And crocodiles like to cool off in water. They like to, remember I said, they like to live in rivers and warm places. And they like to bake in the sand for sun and mud near the edges of water. Here are a lot of all the baby crocodiles growing up. So what I thought was, I would like to show you how to make one of these little crocodile masks if you can see and if mom and dad can help you. Um, I had green paper for the body of the crocodile and blue for the scaly spots on the crocodile. Then I drew his eyes and I cut out little shapes, triangle shapes for the teeth with white paper. And I had a straw which I stuck at the back to make my very own crocodile mask, face mask. So what you will need to do, I just thought I would show you a template of the crocodile, is draw, and you may not be able to actually see this, 
but to draw the outline of the crocodile first so here is actually the outline which I've cut out so that would be the top of his head and part of his face and then his body and then I'm going to show you what to do so what I've done is I've cut out remember I said this is all part of his scales for his body these are different not quite circle shapes but just semi round shapes it doesn't matter if they're not they don't have to be perfect I cut out four little um, shapes like this and then I'm going to show you what I do so I'm going to just stick the first shape on the body I will show you right. and then I've got another shape just something fun to do guys while we're learning about our theme which is going to be very interesting this week see so here are my little scales on my crocodile's face and now I'm going to just take a black cokey and I'm going to draw his eyes so I'm just going to make them round one round circle and another round circle and just color them in a little bit just so that they stand out and it doesn't have to be black and I'm going to just draw a bit of a smile for our crocodile. Can you see what teacher Sal's done? Okay. And then I'm just going to I've cut out from white paper triangle shapes for his teeth remember he's very sharp teeth so I'm going to take the crocodile like that and behind it I'm going to stick some glue on the sides so that we can put his teeth so let teacher Sal do that and then I will show you once it's done what I have done just something fun and what I want to say guys is if you don't have all this colored paper that I have green and blue it doesn't matter perhaps mom or dad could help you just um, cut out a shape of the crocodile like that even if it's just plain white paper and perhaps you can color in your own crocodile in green and draw his eyes so that's also perfectly fine I'm getting glue all over myself <laughs> okay it's just something fun it's not something you have to do but I just thought I would show you and it doesn't matter how many teeth you have you know the crocodile has a lot of teeth very sharp teeth and we know just want to cut this off that okay so just something like that can you see there's some sharp teeth and then if you've got a straw or even a stick I'm going to just stick it behind there with a little bit of sticky tape and then that can be your very own crocodile mask just taking a bit of sticky tape So let's put the glue down and there is your very own crocodile face so we're going to be learning about many different um, reptiles this week today I just touched on crocodiles and then tomorrow I'm going to teach you about another reptile so what I thought we could do is we could do our crocodile song or our monkeys in the tree song and there's a crocodile there isn't it so we can take our face mask 
and teacher Sal's going to do the song. Five little monkeys swinging in the tree, teasing Mr. Crocodile, you can't catch me. Along came a crocodile, quiet as can be, and snap! Four, four little monkeys swinging in the tree, teasing Mr. Crocodile, you can't catch me. Along came a crocodile, quiet as can be, and snap! Then there were three, three little monkeys swinging in the tree, teasing Mr. Crocodile, you can't catch me. Along came a crocodile, quiet as can be, and snap! Then there were two. Two little monkeys swinging in the tree, teasing Mr. Crocodile, you can't catch me. Along came a crocodile, quiet as can be, and snap! And then there was only one crocodile. One, one monkey, sorry. One little monkey swinging in the tree, teasing Mr. Crocodile, you can't catch me. Along came a crocodile, quiet as can be, and snap! And then there were no more monkeys swinging in the tree. What fun! Did you guys enjoy that? So now I actually have two crocodile masks. See? So as I say, if you guys don't have the coloured paper, Perhaps just some, some plain white paper, you can just cut out the crocodile's shape. You can colour him in green. You can draw some scales on his body in a different colour and some eyes. And maybe cut out, if you can, some paper and make his teeth or even draw his teeth. Lots and lots of fun. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's ring time. I know I did, and it's going to be a fun week teaching you about reptiles. Have a lovely afternoon. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thanks, Teacher Sal. Okay, nice. So, Teacher Sally was teaching us about crocodiles. And do you know, can you remember what crocodiles are? Are they amphibians or are they reptiles? Very good, a crocodile is a reptile. I thought, let's quickly do our Boo Hoo Hoo Lonely Croc song. Can you even remember that song? It's been so long ago since you sang it. Ready? Let's go ahead. Boo Hoo Hoo, I'm a lonely croc, lying all day on a sunny rock. I got no friends, but I wish I might. But nobody likes my appetite. I'm so lonely, what can I do? I'd like to be friends with you. Won't you come and play with me? Perhaps you'll be in time for tea. Nobody likes my appetite. And our story for today is going to be Here comes the crocodile. Ooh. It was hot in the deep green jungle when crocodile leapt from the river. He sniffed and he sneered and he growled and he snapped. The jungle shook and quivered. His long tail whipped as he shuttered along. I want food to make me strong. Brown monkey came swinging down. The crocodile's hungry delight. The crocodile snatched at poor monkey's tail. And monkey screeched in fright. Oh, crocodile, you don't eat me. Your sharp teeth will wobble and drop. You'll go skinny and sag like a crocodile bag. And your great jaws will... 
dribble and flop. I made a stick, sticky chocolate monkey chattered in glee. I knew that, said Crocodile. Keep away, you're too small a snack for me. Wasn't that too clever of little monkey? Crocodile felt hungrier than ever when he spied through his big beady eyes two flamingos dancing together. Now here's a tasty surprise. Crocodile sneaked through the water with hungry glint in his eyes. Two treats I see, as pink as can be. I'll snatch them before they fly. The flamingos crunched and fluttered. Why don't you even take one lick? We both made a sugary candy floss and are bound to make you quite sick. You'd howl and you'd yowl and you'd grinch. You'd swell and you'd tumble and you'd roar. I knew that, said Crocodile lying. I've always come out for a stroll. Sneaky flippingos made out of candy floss. What a story. Crocodile marched off defeated with a grinning hole in his tummy. He spotted an elephant drinking. Elephant dinner, yay, yummy! Into the water he slithered as swift as a snake in the grass. And when he got to where elephant was, he leaped up as quick as as a flash. Oh, crocodile, don't you eat me, or your jaws will jangle and lock. For it's quite clear to see you can't eat me for tea because I am solid grey rock. I knew that said Crocodile blushing. You're bolder as big as can be. No time to talk as I'm meeting dear friends for tea. What? <laughs> All those animals are super sneaky today, beating old Mr. Crocodile. Then Crocodile spied a zebra, grazing lazy out on the plain. His tummy rumbled and gurgled and gumbled, hungry for food again. Crocodile crept through the grass as silent as could be. I'll sneak up behind him quickly and gobble Zebra for tea. Oh Crocodile, don't you eat me? Or you'll turn spotty and pink from dark green. You'll splutter and sneeze and have wobbly knees, said Zebra polite and sneer. But you're only a zebra, said Crocodile. You are only a bright, stripy horse. But my back stripes are very hot pepper and my white stripes are salt at the core. Ugh. Oh, boo -hoo. Well, crocodile shedding big crocodile tears. I feel like I haven't eaten any years. He bumbled and he bowled and he wallowed and he squalled. He rolled on his back. He looked very funny when he wailed and howled. I want my mommy. Oh, poor Mr. Crocodile. He feels so hungry. Don't worry, said kindly young zebra. You can share my grass with me. The two pink flamingos brought treats to share 
with monkeys bananas for tea. And I bought some clear, cool water, said elephant trumpeting in a spraying crocodile. And crocodile grinned with her great, big, sharky, teethy smile. What a wonderful day! Aww, look at those animals sharing so nicely together. It was hot in the deep green jungle as the animals played by a tree. When Tiger leaped out from behind them, growling, I am ready for tea. Oh no! I wonder if Tiger is going to be easily pulled like Crocodile. Well, I guess we're going to have to find out around today. Thank you guys so much for coming today. I'll see you tomorrow.